Hello student, I am Dr. Sandeep Pandey from APS University Riva. In this session, I am going to discuss the topic research design. A research design contains the methodology and procedure that are employed to conduct any type of scientific research. The research design of a study defines the study type like descriptive, correlation, semi-experimental, experimental, review and meta-analytic and subtype like descriptive, longitudinal, case study. The research design also defines research question and hypothesis, independent and dependent variables, experimental design if applicable, data collection methods, a statistical analysis plan. In other words, we can say that research design is a blueprint of an experiment which will help researcher to conduct his experiment outfield. Now design types and subtypes. There are various research designs, descriptive type, it includes case study, naturalistic observation, survey, etc. Correlational, it includes case control study observational study, semi-experimental, it includes field experiment, quasi-experiment, experimental, example experiment with random assignments, etc. Review, literature review, systematic review, meta-analytic, it includes meta-analysis. Then we have other modes of classification, the fixed designs, it is the design of the study is fixed before the main stage of data collection takes place. The fixed design are normally theory driven. Otherwise, it is not possible to know in advance which variable needs to be controlled and measured. Oftenly, these variables are measured quantitatively. The examples of fixed designs are the researcher can manipulate the situation circumstances or experience of participants which may lead to exchange in behavior or outcomes for the participants of the study. The researcher randomly assigns participants to different conditions, measures the variables of interest and tries to control for variables. Thus we can say that the experiments in fixed designs are often highly fixed even before the data collection starts. Then flexible designs it allow more freedom during the data collection process in compared to fixed designs. The reason for using a flexible research design can be that the variable of interest is not quantitatively measurable. The examples of flexible design, it includes case study. One single unit is extensively studied, which includes the case of any person, organization, group or situation. Ethnographic study, this type of research is involved with a group, organization, culture or community and the researcher shares a lot of time with the group. Grounded theory study, it is a systematic research process that works to develop a process and action or an interaction about a substantive topic. Now we will discuss about experiment. What do we mean by experiment? Experiment, it is one of the prominent and important activity of any research. But before coming to this topic, we will con consult about the concept of experiment. An experiment is a methodological procedure that is carried out with the aim of verifying, falsifying or establishing the validity of a hypothesis. Experiments also provide insight into causes and effect by demonstrating what outcome or the result occurs when a particular factor is manipulated or verified. Experiments vary greatly in their goal and scale but always rely on repeatable procedure and logical analysis of the results or outcome. What are various significance of experiments? 
In any scientific methods, an experiment is an empirical method that arbitrates between competing models or hypotheses. Experimentation is also used to test existing theories or new hypotheses in order to support them or disprove them. The term experiment was first used by Francis Bacon in 17th century. He was an English philosopher and he always advocated experimental science and scientific methods. Now coming to the topic types of experiment, mainly there are three types of experiments, controlled experiments, natural experiments and field experiments. Now we will discuss one by one about these types of experiments. Number one is controlled experiment. As the word suggests, a controlled experiment generally compares the result obtained from an experimental sample against a control sample, which is practically identical to the experimental sample, except for the one aspect whose effect is being tested. This is the independent variable, the others are the dependent variables. One of the best example is a drug trial. For example, if we want to conduct an experiment to testify a drug, then we will do this on a group of people and for this we will use the controlled type of experiment. Next is the natural experiment. It relies on observations of the variables of the system that are under study rather than, it, rather than the manipulation of just one or a few variables such as variables as occurs in controlled experiments. If possible, they attempt to collect data for the system in such a way that contribution from all variables can be determined and where the effects of variation in certain variables remain approximately constant so that the effects of other variables can be discerned. These experiments usually take place in uncontrolled environment. Therefore, variables from undetected sources are neither measured nor held constant. The natural experiments have application in various fields that includes economics, political science, geology, paleontology, ecology, metrology and astronomy. Now the third type of experiment is the field experiment. In field experiments the outcomes are observed in a natural setting. They have higher external validity than laboratory experiments. These experiments generally suffer from the possibility of contamination. One of the best example is voter turnout in an election. For example, if we want to know how many voters have casted their vote during an election, then we can use such type of field experiments. Thus, to conclude, in this session, we had discussed about the research design, various types of research designs then various subtypes, then various aspects of research designs. Then we have also studied experiments, its concepts, its history, the types of experiment. I hope this lecture is valuable for the researchers who are pursuing their research in any field of life science. Thank you students and enjoy.